what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of you suck at session yeah you totally suck it's all right i suck too but today we're learning double grinds be sure to hit that like button on your way in and subscribe if you're new so yeah let's get started because we got a lot to go over Okay, so like always, first thing we want to do is go over our settings. A few settings here that can actually make double grinds a lot easier for yourself. So first, you're going to go into gameplay settings, then grind settings, grind input mode. No release will make this a lot easier. And what no release does is it makes it so that you do not have to release your stick after popping to input a grind. So you see here on no release, I won't have to release my stick after doing my pop to re continue my grind. And then another stat that also helps will be board control side impulse. And then board control extra scoop will also help with this as well. These stats give you more control over left and right side popping, making it a lot better for side pop double grinds. We'll go over those later in the video. Another setting I turn off is trick relative input. This just makes it so that no matter what my stick position is, I always pop out the same way, but it's completely personal preference. But I'm just going to base this off trick relative input being turned off. But a lot of this should still apply even if you have trick relative input turned on, especially if you rotate into a lot of your grinds like I do. Okay, next we're going to go over what I like to call neutral input double grinds. These double grinds allow you to just pop into another grind without any sort of trickery you could just do them right off rip they're really easy to get done so i'm gonna do something like a nose grind i could pop into a crook without re-inputting The main thing for these is you either want to make sure that you're rotating into your next grind while keeping pressure on the foot that you want to get into, or you're moving either your front foot stick or back foot stick into your next grind. So don't combine trigger movement and stick movement together because you'll probably end up missing your trick. Either move the stick to get into the grind or rotate while keeping pressure with the next foot to get into the grind. Those are your neutral input grinds in a nutshell. They're really, really easy to do. Uh, you can even flip into them or scoop into or do shoves between them. Super easy with very minimal effort. Great place to start off learning how to do double grinds, honestly. Flipping in between double grinds is the same concept. Just make sure if you're rotating into your next grind, you're not moving your stick left or right. And if you're moving your stick left or right, you're not rotating. You can see after the shove, I rotate to the nose slide, but I keep the front foot stick up to apply pressure. Same here after the kick flip, I went back down on my back foot to get into the tail after rotating. I think that's the best starting point you could get for learning how to do double grinds is just trying to do those off rip because uh, they're honestly super, super easy to do. Next, we're going to do release and repop double grinds. And what that means is once you get into your first grind, you're going to completely release your input and then pop into your next grind. For instance, let me show you what I mean. The timing window can be very small, but being on no release helps this because after you do your second pop, you can continue to hold whatever stick down you need while rotating into your next grind. Like I held my front foot down while rotating into the crook. You want to use your stick sand triggers for this one after you release pop and move your front foot to the left while rotating front side to get into the nose blunt using your triggers in combination with your sticks will give you extra rotation speed and it makes it super easy to do flip tricks in between grinds as well you will have to release your input to catch your flip trick in between your grind. But if this tutorial has helped you at all, please hit that like button. I worked my ass off on this for the past week. And please subscribe if you're new. So yeah, those are release and repop grinds in a nutshell. Now we're going to take this to the next level where you still have to re-release, but instead of doing a normal ollie, you're now going to do a low pop ollie. If you don't know how to do a low pop ollie, that's both sticks down or both sticks up, you will do a low pop ollie or a low pop nollie. 
no slide to crooks are really great looking when you do these one tip you could do instead of fully releasing your stick you can go down then up and that will also reset your input so you can get into your next grind you can see what i mean here when i get into the crook this will actually keep your board from dipping as well when you're doing double grinds you see here i completely go up and then back down then i pop into the switch crook one thing I like to throw into my double grinds is body varios. That's a lot of things people ask me in my comments. How do I do with body vario double grinds? And just to do a body vario, you're going to rotate the opposite way your shove direction is. So if you backside shove, you're going to rotate front side. If you front side shove, you rotate backside. A lot of things people see me do in my streams is front nose slide, body vario to switch nose slide, I guess it would be. But it looks like a tail slide to me. I don't know. I have quick shoves on for this. For this, you want to move your stick with your rotation. Sticks apart for front side rotation, sticks together for back side rotation. So because I rotated front side, when I did my nolly back shove, I moved my back foot stick to the right to correspond with the front side rotation. So yeah, I guess this would be a no slide body varial tail slide. And you can even throw flips in between those as well, just by doing flip variation. If you can do the normal body vario variation, these are honestly a little easier because you just have to do kick flip body vario or heel flip body vario, and then you just go straight up or down on your pressure instead of having to think about moving left or right. You just go straight up or down on whatever foot you need to apply pressure to next. You can see here, I do my tail and then right after I do the kick flip body vario, I apply pressure straight upwards to the nose. Oh, that was sketchy. Okay, so now we're going to talk about popping over grinds. This is going to help you get into different grinds from things like blunts and board slides and such. These are simple. Just after you do your release input, instead of re-inputting straight up, you're going to re-input either to the left or the right pocket so that you can pop over the ledge or the rail. You can see once I was in the nose slide, I pocketed all the way to the right, popped over the ledge and moved my front foot to the left into the blunt. And of course you can also do flip tricks in between these like this kick flip here. It's just like before, you do have to release to catch your flip, but when you do catch it, just catch it into your next trick input. I will say knowing how to rocket and bone out your flip tricks will help a lot when trying to get into these different double grinds. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I got a full tutorial on my channel, you should check it out. So now that you understand how to release your input so you can get into another grind, we're gonna do a few grinds that require two sticks, like Smiths. It's the same concept, you're just gonna re-input these are probably the most fun to do because you can experiment with different rotations with your sticks and triggers to get into all sorts of incredible types of grinds. Yeah, after I get into the 50-50, you just pop, rotate with the trigger and sticks, and then I get into the switch feeble. Incredible. Smith to overcrook or Smith to blunt just requires a tiny pocket pop. If you're pocket popping too much, try a different pocket or adjust your stats, but you should be able to get it fairly easily. And then low pop is the same concept. You, re you release your input, do the low pop input, get into your grind input. Back lip to Smith is a great trick. After you release the input, low pop, continue to hold down your back foot and move your front foot right. Very quick on the sticks here.
Same concept for board to feeble, just very quick inputs through the low pop directly into the feeble input. I did a Smith input, it still works somehow. You guys are gonna love this one. So immediately after my low pop, I rotate while holding down a switch feeble input. That's it. Smith to Hurricane is a little bit different. After you low pop, immediately put your sticks together and rotate backside. Hopefully you'll pop into a hurricane. It's a really hard trick to do. So yeah, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover on this video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm Kiba. Uh, guys, have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next session tutorial. Bye.